rear is nice and lifted. <laughs> Thing looks lifted. Check it out. Duh, right? It looks lifted. It is lifted. <laughs> What up, Tiger Garage TV? Yo, back for another episode. Welcome back to the channel. This is the Tiger Garage TV. My name is Pablo. I work, own, and live at the Tiger Garage, which is a little tire shop located here in Santa Ana, Southern California. And uh, welcome to the channel. It's a little channel that I put together, showing you all the crazy cool stuff that I like to do with cars. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, thank you for joining us. Let me get started on this one. We did one of these before. It was a little different though, so I figured let's record another one. We're doing a uh, three inch lift. So here's what I'm talking about, okay? It's right behind me, check this out. It's a 2016 Jeep Cherokee. Check this out. I'm not gonna give you the uh, before and after pictures because I didn't take pictures of it earlier today. Like I said, I was busy. It was raining a lot today and it's late. I'm not going to wait till the morning to take pictures. So you'll just have to picture it the way it looked in stock. It's already got some nice tires on it. Already looks a little beefier, a little taller than the other one that I did because the other one that I did was the Latitude. This one's actually the Trailhawk. So here's, here's the lift kit. Let me show it to you. Check this baby out. Ooh, ooh. This is the Dobbinson, same as that other one. Dobbinson struts, Dobbinson shocks, and comes with the spacers. So it's the full three inch lift with the coils right here. So let's take all this shit out, get to work. Like I said, I've done one of these already, so it should be faster. I hope it's faster. It better be faster. <laughs> Cause it's already late i'm gonna start with the rear since the rear seems to be always a little faster so let's get to work let's get to work let's get to work Okay, I hit a wall, and it's not something that I did, it's not something that I'm missing, it's actually, it's just information that I'm missing. Damn it, I should have texted Jesse. Jesse, what up, brother? I don't know if these springs are the rear, or if those are the rear. So, I'm kind of stuck. I can't put it back together because I don't know which spring, which coil is for the front, which is for the rear. They're kind of similar, and I want to say that one's for the rear, but I don't want to risk it, so I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow. Hopefully it's not raining too much tomorrow, but all right. I'll see you in the morning, y'all. What up, Tag Garage? Yo, it's the next morning, so let's get this shit done. Well, it turns out that's the back. Woo! The rear is done. Rear is nice and lifted. <laughs> Thing looks lifted. Check that out. Duh, right? It looks lifted. It is lifted. <laughs> now, I did, I'm, like I said, I'm not going to do the before and after pictures. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to measure how tall it is before and after. That way you'll get a sense of kind of what the lift looks like. Because it's a three inch lift. Let's see if it really does go up three inches. So let's take some measurements. Check this out. Floor to the edge of the fender well. Okay? To the under, edge of the uh, fender flare. So check it out. What's that look like? 32, 32 and a half inches. That's what that looks like right there. 
okay? So let's see what it ends up at. I'm gonna measure the same side after I drive it a little bit. Because every time you lift the car and put it up in the air, it always, the shocks always need a little bit of time to settle. That way they drop down all the way. Let's go ahead and finish up the front. Tag Garage TV. Yo, yo, the Jeep is back. Back from alignment. Good to go. Sit here looking pretty, waiting to go home. All right, let's take a look at it. Check that out, check that out. Damn, you could really tell that thing is lifted. Three inch lift. Look at all the space right here. Got the strut. Nice shiny color. Nice shiny green. Dobinson. I really like the fact that they went black on the struts. Because those struts used to be yellow. That yellow with that blue just gave it a... Uh, it's a distinct look, but for example, it wouldn't go with these highlights in red, you know, like the trail rated in red Wouldn't make it look good at all, but check that out. How's that look? Only thing missing, in my opinion, tires. You gotta go with the fatter, bigger tire, you know Finish up, complete the look Now, you probably saw this one. Check that out. I got another one sitting here waiting, waiting to get done also same type of kit. This one's going with the Fox shocks in the rear, but hey, three inch lift. Look at this thing. Looks good. Looks good. Dobbins in. Let's look at the back. Check that out. It's a really good looking setup. Check that out. All right, so let's go back inside, call the owner, have this baby picked up. Yo, I'm definitely gonna invite homeboy out on the next off-road trip that we do. Hopefully he can make it. Hopefully the other one can make it too. Check out the Instagram for those events. I'll post the Instagram up here. I'll post mine up here too. That way, go follow those two accounts, all right? I appreciate that. I really do. So let's cut this video short here and uh, get to working on the other one. So expect another video for that other one coming. That one's also a Trailhawk Jeep Cherokee, but that one's getting the Fox Shocks. So that, that kit is a little bit different than this one. This one just got the Dobinson and coils with the spacers. So it's a three inch lift. But the other one that we're doing next is actually a three inch kit with the Fox shocks. So that was a little different. So let's do it. Let's cut this short here. And you know the saying, dude, you know the saying. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Yo, one more thing before he takes it off with it. Remember we measured? So let's see, down at the bottom to the fender 35 inches 35 inches Woo! all right so before we go let's analyze this right the truck started at 32 and a half inches off the ground that's the front it ended at 35 no yeah 35 so from 32 and a half to 35 is obviously two and a half not three inches the kit is supposed to be a three inch lift i've got to throw this out there the rear, I had lifted it and put it on the floor, but 
like I said, like I said before, sharks always need a little bit of time to settle. That way they drop down all the way. It takes a little bit of driving for the struts or the sharks to settle down after they've been off the floor for a while. I think that half inch that's missing, is cut, that's where it's coming from. So that's where I'm losing a half an inch when I took my measurements. On top of that, after he adds tires, that customer was gonna add tires after that. Because to be honest, the Jeep, that Jeep like that needs it. It'll make that big of a difference with the with the lift kit and new off-road tires, like a good mud terrain or a good all-terrain tire. It'll make that much more of a difference. After he adds those tires, trust me, the look on those on that Jeep is gonna look. It's just gonna look that much better. So hopefully he does it soon. Hopefully he comes back soon. If he does, when he does, we'll definitely get a video out of it. That'd be a good video to do, right? So let's cut this video short here. The MFC off-road three-inch kit. That's with the Dobbinson shocks. I've got another one coming with the Fox shocks in the rear. So stay tuned for that. And one last favor, gotta ask. Support the channel. Help me support the channel by going to the links in the description. Any of those links, even if you don't buy whatever's linked on there, buy whatever you want. Buy, you know, some sneakers, car parts if you want. Buy a hat, buy some shorts. So anything you need on there, find it on Amazon. That helps support the channel. That way I can keep doing what we're doing. All right? So thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate you being here. See you on the next one. Ed, let's get to work. Yo, let's get to work.